Monday television campaign of Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Now let's see the broadcast for today. Armenian Culture Union celebrates its 14th anniversary with an anniversary event. A huge lotto for the aid of the friendly Union of Armenians. In Shushi, a mosque and a museum will be built. Monument Watch. A delegation led by the head of NATO's international military staff, Janusz Adamczak, visited the genocide of memorial in Armenia. The impact of regional escalation on the Lebanese Armenian community. The Secretary General of the OAS met Mario Nalpatian to discuss the issue on returns of displaced Armenians from Artsakh. The Baku government behaves like a mafia group, Paul Gavan. On 25 October, on Friday, Armenia Culture Union will celebrate its 14th anniversary at the MGS Jean Moulin Hall in Buj Les Valens. During the event, the summary of 40 years of activity and events will be presented, as well as Valence Mayor Nicola Daragon will be awarded with the Armenian Sword Hayat Sur Medal of Western Armenia. Armenia was founded in 1994 in Valence. The president of the Union Group, Grikora Mirzanyan, notes that it was founded with the participation of friends and relatives with the aim of strengthening Armenian-French relations and preserving Armenian culture. For 40 years, Armenia has organized more than 600 cultural sports and patriotic events, many of which have been a great success, such as the evening of the song Free Giant by Badalyan Hambartsumyan and with the participation of Matevosyan, as well as the demonstration of the France-Armenian football match. The evening will end with a festive cake and champagne. A big lottery will be held on 19 October, organized by the Armenian Friendly Union. The main prizes of the raffle are a week's vacation in Tunisia, a weekend in Venice, an electric scooter purchase certificates, and other valuable gifts. This event aims to support the Union's program and charitable initiatives. An interesting and joyful evening awaits the participants with the raffle of great prizes. In 2024 and 20 September, the president of Baku, Ilham Aliyev, during his visit to Shushi, participated in the opening of the Flag Square, which was built on the site of the monument dedicated to the victims of genocide of Armenians. Then it will be destroyed. It is said that a Victory Museum and a new mosque will also be built here. The construction of these structures on the site of the monument to the victims against Armenians grossly violates the cultural rights of the Armenian people. This is not only the result of the destruction of heritage, but also an attempt to deny the Armenian identity. These actions of Azerbaijan contradict international norms, including the 1954 Hague Convention, Convention on the Protection of Cultural Rights of the United Nations. The National Council of Western Armenia condemns all those people who trespass on the sacred land of its territory in Artsakh without official permission, being complicit in its occupation by the Baku authorities. On 3 October, the delegation led by the head of NATO's international military staff, Lieutenant General Janusz Adamczak, who arrived in Armenia on a working visit, visited the memorial of the genocide against Armenians. The guests were welcomed by Lucine Abrahamian, the deputy director for museum works of the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians. She accompanied the guests to the memorial of the genocide against Armenians and presented the history of the creation of the memorial. The deputy director also referred to the free Hajkars in the territory of Tizernagabert, placed in memory of the Armenians who died in the massacres organized by the Azerbaijani government in the cities of Sumgait, Girovabad, Baku, at the end of the last century. And the stories of the five freedom fighters buried in front of Hushapat during the Artsakh war, emphasizing the connection between what happened and the genocide against Armenians. High-ranking military officer light flowers near the eternal fire and observed a minute of silence in memory of the innocent victims of the genocide against Armenians. The members of the delegation also toured the Museum of the Genocide Against Armenians got acquainted with the permanent and temporary exhibitions, after which the head of the delegation, Janusz Adamczak, made a note in the memorial book of the honored guest. Israel's attacks on Lebanon have had a heavy impact on the Armenian community. Regional analyst Yeria Tashjan stated in an interview with Weekly that the uh, bombings affected Lebanon's Armenians as well, as much as all communities. On 1 October, Israel invaded southern Lebanon following two weeks of fierce strikes that Israel said targeted Hezbollah infrastructure. According to official figures, more than 1,000 people died and 1 million were displaced. 
Tashjan noted that the humanitarian situation is difficult. Schools are closed, factories are struggling due to export and import restrictions. In addition, a new wave of emigration may begin in the country. Tashjan also criticizes the Western media, stating that this conflict is portrayed as between Israel and Hezbollah, but in reality it is like a war against the Lebanese people. Tashjan also warned that Azerbaijan could use the situation in the Middle East to attack the Sunni region with the aim of controlling the Zangazur corridor. We'd like to remind that President Armenia Gabrihamian, deeply affected by the events taking place in Lebanon, initially expressed his condolence to the people of Lebanon who were victims of the Israel bombings. Secretary General of the Organization of American State Luis Almagro met Mario Nalpatian, Vice President of Sositorin, member of the World American National Council, a member of the Committee for the Protection of Fundamental Rights of the People of Artsakh. Almagro and Nalpantian discussed the need to guarantee the return of displaced Armenians to Artsakh, the release of Armenian prisoners of war, and issues related to stopping the destruction of Armenian cultural heritage in Artsakh. In my speech at the PACE, I spoke about the issue of Baku's membership, emphasizing the open abuses against its own citizens, as well as the outrageous behavior towards the citizens of Artsakh. Pace, Irish and people Gavan told Alpha News about this. The fact that Azerbaijan does not allow anyone to really study what the situation is like in the country, the fact that they rigged the elections and act like a real mafia, tells us that if we don't deal with these issues in assembly, we will lose credibility as a human rights organization. I met that uh, statement during the debate and I am a little worried because many MPs expressed the opposite point of view, saying that now is the time for dialogue. This is puzzling to me because when this happens and the assembly is treated with the contempt, there is no time for dialogue. Now is not the time for dialogue, but the time for action. Hold these authorities accountable and let the civilized world know that they need to change their behavior. You cannot forgive them when they subject their own citizens to collective violence, as well as show a terrible attitude towards the indigenous people of Artsakh. The debate went pretty well, but I have concern about the member of five voices on behalf of this regime. To be honest, the reasons are puzzling to me, said Gavan. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.